generous yeah. community here. And this is a great start to our Monday, isn't it, ladies? These volunteers come to White Rock Sources Food Bank to help stock shelves. They have their work cut out for them. It's the first time their community is involved with the mayor's fundraising challenge. You help out the community, you see people who come in and need the food quite, pretty quickly. Um, so it's good, it's a great feeling. And I work with fabulous gals, so. And the guys next door are great too. We're all a jolly group. I think volunteers are very special. After raising $550,000 last year, BC mayors are coming together once again. After 2021 success, Mayors involved for the first time understand the fundraiser's importance. Well, there's two things I'd like to see. Number one, I'd like to see us get to a society where we can do away with food banks, where people actually earn enough money to be able to live in our society. When you go out and get a job, the expectation is you should be able to earn enough in our society to live with. With the growth of food insecurity, these volunteers understand the importance of their role. According to Murray, 600 of the 20,000 people in White Rock need help from Sources Food Bank on a weekly basis. We have a lot of people that need support in the community and I mean, especially when it comes to White Rock, people are surprised there's even a food bank in White Rock, but we have a lot of, we've got about 1,500 people registered with our food bank and it's, it's growing. For two days, for two days. The challenge started on May 1st, making it nearly halfway over. The team in White Rock is working hard to help the Lower Mainland reach the goal of $500,000. Evan Smith in White Rock for BCIT Magazine.